All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync. It is August the 19th. I am not Ron Burgundy. I am your host, Alan Shaw, <laughs> for the call. Um, note taker is Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, if you are here, please add your name to the list on the hackpad. I am pasting the link again in the chat, just in case you just arrived. Um, and in your own time, please fill out your uh, weekly update at the bottom of the document. We will not go over that in this call. That is for async review. Um, once this call is finished, this document gets PR'd to the meetings repo at uh, IPFS team management. Um, so uh, yeah, so please fill that in if you haven't already. And we will uh, go through uh, the document now. Uh, and we usually start with initiatives because that is at the top. Um, and let's get on with it. Okay, so initiatives, the upgrading the release process. That is, there's no new, more news from me on that. I failed to, uh, to send the PR that I promised to send last week. Um, but I know that the blog post has shipped. Stephen, do you want to update us on that? Uh, sure. Yeah, blog post shipped. I'm going to paste the link in. It has a snazzy graphic. Thanks to uh, Agatha and Eric, um, who are currently not uh, credited in the blog post, and they're going to be in a minute. But yeah, uh, read that. It's um, it should explain what the new release process is and why we made these changes and how everything works and how we're going to have better releases now. Uh, that's it there. Other than GoFest has now finally finished its release, mostly, um, except the Twitter announcement because it's not Twitter. And that release followed the release process that you shipped. Well, we mostly. Shipped. Mostly. <laughs> mostly. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Uh, any quick questions on that? All right. Let's move on. The updating the testing and infra process. Uh, there is a test infrastructure document that would uh, like some feedback. Um, I still need to, <laughs> uh, shamefully, I still need to review Jim's pull request to benchmarks, um, and I'm hoping to do that this week. My week last week was taken up by many things that were none of the things that I wanted to get done this week. So, um, uh, Jim or Stephen, do you want to um, give us any more information on that? Is there anything more to say? Uh, all I know is that uh, Biggs is now ramping up on trying to figure out how to integrate, um, uh, what's it called? Nomad uh, into the system. Um, that is all I know. Yeah, I th yeah. think rolls away, you know, there's the big conference going on. So, um, so pretty much just letting things set for him to gather the feedback on that and uh, Hopefully, maybe next week we'll move forward with implementing some parts. In the meantime, I'm doing some experimentation with some of the Google Cloud um, monitoring things, which seem really, really useful and interesting. So I hope that informs the process a bit. So. Cool. Thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, any questions? No. Nope. OK. Uh, moving. On quickly, uh, garbage collection and pinning. I believe there's no further updates on that one uh, at the moment. Uh, Gossip Sub, uh, Freshco is not here, but I believe there is a PR open uh, uh, against JSIPFS for implementing that that I need to review. Yes, I think there's the only thing blocking there is there's like the order of the IPFS core um, interface release. Okay. Because there's a there's a PR in IPFS interface core that that PR is also using, so okay. I don't know what the the merge order should be for that, um, but that should be ready to review. Okay, cool. Uh, Try and get to that as soon as I can. Uh, subdomain gateway. Uh, I uh, Lido, are you here? You are here. Can you update us on that, please? Uh, yeah. So there's a very first RFC against lib P2P specs. Uh, that proposes change of text representation of PRIDs from currently 
like right now it's just a multi hash in base uh, 58 uh, just like CIDV0 uh, the proposal is to make it officially a CID and uh, then uh, switch uh, the proposal is to switch the default representation to uh, base 32 while we are at it uh, so it's above uh, the very first RFC I also added like a template uh, which so the goal is to smoke test uh, the template using this uh, proposed uh, proposed change to bootstrap the RFC process for the uh, specs repo. If anyone is interested in either uh, base 32 or the RFC process for LP2P and hopefully other places, uh, make sure to check it out. Uh, I think that's it. That's super cool. Uh, so you are looking for reviews on on that? I didn't understand the smoke testing thing. Uh, sm I meant uh, smoke testing the process of RFC, of writing RFC, of reviewing RFC. It's very first one. So uh, any feedback uh, either on the process or on the text uh, would be appreciated. Uh, Got it. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, uh, if there are no questions on that, we will move on to repo consolidation. Jacob. Yeah, so the JSLPP repo consolidation is done. Uh, that's been merged. Um, so I'll probably do a release of that uh, either today or early tomorrow. Um, that won't be a breaking change. So we'll just do a patch update for that. And then the next steps for that will be archiving uh, the old repos and then posting deprecation notices for those. And that is it for that. And then distributed signaling. Um, I've mostly been focused on getting, working on getting the async await stuff unblocked from libp2p. Um, so I'll probably be continuing that early this week, but hopefully I will be able to get back to um, WebRTC upgrades over the relay connections later this week. Cool, thank you. Um, I had a question on the repo consolidation. So there's a there is a major release of lib P2P out that is not yet in JSIPFS. Is that right? Yeah. So that's in the the gossip sub PR because part mm -hmm. of the yeah. Yeah. Um, got it. Uh, okay. And so the patch release will be on top of that. So that's okay. Um, yes. Right. Um, and so the modules that are in that that are now in lib P2P, the idea is to archive the old re so. Uh, so you can do deprecations on npm as well. You can, you're going to do that as well, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Oh, so um, I may need to do an additional push also to the the repo. I need to check that, but yeah, I'll make sure the npm is deprecated as well. Nice. Um, cool. Uh, this, uh, sorry, you've already told so told us about that. Uh, IPNS. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, so there are some IPNS over PubSub spec PRs um, that are out for people to take a look at. Um, the GoLib P2P PubSub router PR, which is basically the PR that makes IPNS over PubSub work, is like yay close. Um, we're just, uh, I just did a release of GoLib P2P PubSub, which should make this all sort of go smoothly now. Um, there's a an issue uh, on adding uh, key revocation to the IPNS spec. There's already sort of like a backhanded way of revoking an IPNS key by just setting the uh, sequence number to max unsigned integer. Um, but like we could make this a little more official and then support it with error codes and stuff. Uh, so there's an issue there. Take a look. And the next steps are to actually start like doing feature things, given that the PubSub stuff is basically good to go um, from the IPNS perspective. And also, uh, Hugo is going to be putting together the IPNS over DNS spec for Dominic to go then implement in Go. Nice, thank you. Uh, does anyone have any questions on the IPNS stuff? I love the um, Max on side in hat. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, migration to multi hash keys in data store. Yeah, that's another thing that I haven't got around to doing yet. So we'll skip over that quickly. 
package managers updates. This is listed as Dirk. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's update on there exactly. Good Just like a uh, general update of what the team's doing. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, don't, I do not know how this got on here, but um, <laughs> if you have anything exactly. that you feel would be useful, then. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so Michelle point. created a, a roadmap uh, that's super useful. So you can see kind of where we're going and, and what's missing and what we want to, where we think we can be helpful to people who are maintaining package packages. Um, Alex is looking at working on improving IPF ad performance. And he's, he and Steve have kind of talked about that and added some comments to the issue about it. Dominic is working on Fuse integration, is that right? Um, and has made some really good progress this week. I'll, I'll post a link to a, uh, an issue where he's got some screenshots to demonstrate. Uh, Dins talked about IPNS, and I'm working on uh, BitSwap performance. I'll post some links in there. Nice, cool, thank you. Um, all right, uh, and then the final initiative is async await refactor. Just wanted to ugh, let everyone know <laughs> uh, there's a new PR to libutp mplex, which is nearly there. I think there's a test that needs to be fixed, but it's getting close. There were some performance issues which I dealt with last week. Um, yeah, there's a couple of more modules for converting Node.js streams to async iterables and back. The IPFS multipart module has been um, converted, thanks to Alex. Um, there is, there, so there's a module called it pushable that I made that um, allows you to push stuff into an async iterable and it implements this concept of write v. Um, in Node.js, if you've got a writable stream, you can um, implement a function called write v, um, which allows you to consume um, more than one chunk at a time, um, if there are more than one chunks in a buffer. Um, and so this sort of does a similar, allows you to do a similar thing with async iterables, which is um, good for um, performance in terms of um, async iterables, because every time we yield and um, consume something off an iterable, we cross an async boundary. And um, that can be slow if we've got uh, multiple things to buffer up and we can process all of those things at once. So. Um, that's uh, a nice addition. Uh, the libp2p record module has a PR uh, merged and released for async await. The data store S3 um, module had a PR merged and released this week. A libp2p keychain had a PR merged and released as well. There are now 67% uh, of all modules that we want to convert um, having a merged uh, pull request or an open pull request to convert them to async await. That's the update on that. And just one week, imagine that. Um, cool, uh, so design review proposals. Uh, the, yes, we had one last week. Um, yeah, Stephen, do you wanna update on? Yeah, the resolution was basically punt. Uh, yeah. So we had a lot of good discussions. Uh, Lido wrote up uh, some of the information about like, what we talked about. Um, I still need to post my update, um, but basically, we realized that for these cases we're going for, we actually do need full paths, and we're still not entirely sure how to do this, so we're going to punt. And uh, DNS uh, over um, or DNS over TLS in IPFS is just going to use config stuff. Like it's not putting multi headers. It's going to be some set of config values. Like hey, use this protocol, use this uh, URL, use this host, all this kind of stuff. Standard HTTP stuff, no uh, no multi headers. Um, and on the side, we're going to try to fix this, and then we're going to like do a migration and like fix the config um, because we don't want to block them. Cool. Uh, can uh, either Lido or Stephen please post the link to that issue on just on the notes if you have it? That would be rad. Um, uh, there's no, doesn't seem to be any blockers or asks from people, so you're all let off the hook. Hooray. Uh, any questions? Uh, here, there is one question. What is the current status of the gateways slash DHT? No change. Uh, so, like, they, they work sometimes, they work, don't work other times. Um, the main solution we put in place is we're running a special stabilized branch on the gateways, and uh, the, uh, sorry, 
Yeah, running a special branch on the gateways. We also have a DHT booster uh, system. Um, but basically like we add a bunch of DHT nodes and have these nodes all reachable and like working correctly. Um, so these are both significantly improving things, but the websites are still occasionally reliable. Like this morning, I, uh, I tried to access something and I think the gateway had just undergone a GC and because that GC, the gateway lost all the content and uh, the, um, yeah, the uh, resolving website didn't work for a couple seconds, which is not good. Um, I am, Hopefully, I'll find time today. Was like trying to work on a patch uh, to improve the connectivity between the gateways and, and cluster. Uh, we have been fixing some bugs in the connection manager that should reduce the chances of us disconnecting randomly. But also trying to like improve the swap so that like it actually like determines that appear is really useful. My current strategy here is uh, going to be a double um, what's it called uh, exponentially weighted uh, or sorry. Two exponentially weighted um, averages or moving averages of, um, uh, I guess, usefulness or uh, exchanges. Really, it's like in bit swap and go, at least we, we record every single time we have an exchange with a beer. Uh, but what we can do is like we can extra, we can record the rate of exchanges or like if really actually whether or not we have exchanged in the last 10 seconds. And we can like basically keep track of two of these where we can like try to keep track of like we are currently bit swapping with a beer. So that would be like a shorter ranged. Um, uh, exponentially weighted moving average to like capture like uh, like active exchanges. Then we have a longer range to one that would slow the ramp over time. But like if you have really few exchanges, then we just don't stop the swapping. Uh, this would capture both like immediate like we are trying to fetch something that's not disconnect from this pair and long run like uh, we are constantly using this pair let's never disconnect from them. Uh, so that's my current attempt there. We'll see if it actually helps. It breaks random things, um, but that's not unfortunately going to fix content routing. That can only be fixed by the DHT, and that is currently blocked on test infrastructure uh, improvements, which is why uh, we are pushing hard on that. Um, but this will at least make the gateways slightly less sad when setting all websites. That is my long update on that. Got it. Any follow up questions from anyone? All right. Um, in which case, we are nearing the end of our time together. <laughs> uh, there's no, nothing in the parking lot. Weekly updates are available for async review. Um, and we're kind of done. Does anyone have any other thoughts or random kind of things they want to say? Would Would anyone be like interested in having a like a design review discussion to get the the revocation stuff? Uh, Finalized, or are people okay doing things async in a GitHub issue? I think at this point we should probably async because I think it's going to take a while to flush some things out. But that works for me. All right. Well, we're early for once, um, but that's okay. Uh, it was really nice to see all your faces again. Nice to see your face too, Alan. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, it's the end of the meeting. Thank you very much for coming and uh, I'll see you uh, next week for another exciting round of IDFS core implementations. Have fun in your week. Keep on Bye. Bye. Bye.